examine in yourself what you love to watch or what you love to like absorb. Like if you love to look at pictures of art, there's probably a little bit of artist inside of you. Hey everybody, welcome to the Daily Commute Quarantine Conversations. My name is Will. My name is Adam. Hey, we're super pumped for this episode. We're doing something a little bit different today. Um, we've been kind of talking about some like some heavier topics, some um, some things that are really important to be talking about right now. And today we're talking about something that uh, we think is also very important, uh, but I think a lot of people are also um, really asking for it. And uh, so we want to address that and we want to have some fun today. So uh, people are, are in all different places right now. We've got some people that are busy as heck that are working on like the front lines, um, you know, working in the hospitals, the grocery stores, which, by the way, thank you for doing yeah. that and, and for being so wonderful and, and sacrificial and, and for risking uh, so much for that. And, and so there's there's people that are in that boat that like they're like boredom. What are you kidding me? <laughs> and then there are some people that are bored out of their freaking minds. Uh, I mean, we've just seen, I think, the fruits of this. If you open Instagram or like Reddit, I'm sure. Um, and then some people, I think there's another category. I think that some people are working because, um, you know, they're working from home or whatever. Or they still have to go into work. But life has just gotten mundane. Like every day is kind of the same thing day in and day out. You know, you still have your weekends, but your weekends, you're really limited. Your evenings, you're really limited to what you can do for like recreation or, you know, your hobbies, stuff like that. Socialization is is way different. So, um, yeah, so we're facing some, some boredom and we're facing monotony. So that's what we're ta tackling in this episode today. How can we fight the boredom and the monotony and, and hopefully overall kill it, all right? Uh, because, man, that, that is what, it, that's what, I think for some of us, for some people that might feel like the worst part in all of this. Like, I don't know, Adam, like what have you, have you experienced like any amount of these things like yourself? Yeah, I mean, in some ways, uh, I, I am, definitely been able to keep myself pretty busy just between work and um grad school right now is is coming to a close so that's been that's been something that's taken a lot of my attention but it is important to find ways to i think you know find pieces of joy and gratitude uh in in the middle of being coped up uh cooped up in 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 your home so i'm i'm really excited to see how all of our guests are going to be sharing their unique ways of dealing with that yeah. boredom. So we'll see how that goes. Right. Yeah. And so we are recording uh, with three guests today at mm -hmm. three different times. So this is something that we've, we've, we've not done. Um, so we'll see how, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we're, we're basically going to, going to talk to one, uh, and then we're going to finish that conversation and another one's going to come in. We're going to finish that conversation and then another one is going to come in. <laughs> um, so we're obviously limited on time here cause we don't want to have a super long episode. We want to kind of keep, you know, in that 50, 50 minutes or under kind of realm. So, um, wrapping up these conversations might be kind of awkward because we're going to have to, you know, really move on. So this could be horrible. This could be really awkward. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be good. We, we figured, you know, if we're recording an episode about killing uh, boredom and monotony, we're going to make sure this episode is anything but boring and monotonous. <laughs> That's right. So uh, to start off, uh, we usually ask a funny question. We're gonna start off with a fight, all right? I don't know if you guys have heard of the game Super Fight. Um, it's really fun. I would recommend it if you wanna make enemies. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. I would recommend I it between, between friends, maybe not between uh, married individuals. Yes. Oh, married individuals. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I played this uh, with my family and it, and, and it, well, it just wasn't good. It, You're right. It wasn't good. You'd be all careful right. who you play with. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, the, these are just completely random. I could have probably looked at these ahead of time and found like the best ones I could find, but I didn't. So we've got the um, Gladiator versus the Kardashians. Who would win? Now, uh, there's another aspect of the game, and we're not playing this the way the game is supposed to be played, but um, <laughs> you can also basically get a superpower. So I'm going to add this one to the Gladiator. I'm going to add 
this one to the Kardashians. Oh, goodness. All right, the Kardashians, their entire body is very sticky. All right, I don't want to know why. The Gladiator, the clothes are way too big. Who would win? Big baggy clothes. Uh, that's that's easy baggy clothes gl- gladiator for me. Easy baggy. <laughs> but like, what if like the baggy clothes get stuck to the Kardashians and they can use that to like manipulate him? Uh, I, I think you're probably right. Yeah, I think that's probably who wins that one. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was fun. Um, so let's go ahead and bring in our first guest, guys. Absolutely. Uh, let's br- let's do it. Bringing them in now. All right, guys, we are here uh, with my friend Avery. Uh, Avery, what's going on? What is up? <laughs> uh, we're all just we're all just quarantined in here, man. Um, hey, so so quickly, just so that the, our listeners can get to know you a little bit, what, what's your current work situation? So I I work for a company called Iron House Studios. It's a video production company in Harrison, Ohio. Um, Currently, we have zero clients due to the whole coronavirus thing. But Mm. the beauty of it is we're kind of taking the time to kind of revamp our internal stuff. And um, we've done a couple, like, basically we're trying to do messages of hope during this quarantine rather than the companies okay. that are like we've been here the entire time so here's why you should buy our product <laughs> yeah. but instead like show the genuine side of the companies that we work with so we've had a couple things like that but ultimately like we're staying busy relatively yeah. but definitely having to like make stuff up on the fly yeah yeah that's kind of a cool opportunity but also i could see how that could be a little scary and uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not great. But I mean, a lot of prayer and stuff has helped us to not feel like we need to do the whole unemployment thing. And uh, sure. yeah, we've been sustainable, which is good, but cool. it's a yeah. lot. It's good to hear. Um, so, and then uh, our other question for you is how long have you been commuting? So I have been commuting uh, technically my whole life, but uh, I would say actively this year. Honestly. Wow. Uh, yeah, okay. you've known me for a while, which is kind of probably daunting. But, like, <laughs> it just, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I was very passive for a long, long time. Got myself in a lot of situations mm. that I couldn't really see uh, truth in any of it. And just operated under the rules that I was taught growing up. And that's fine. Mm. But um, but at the beginning of this year, I really started to realize the things that I needed to tear away from my life to see what was getting in the way of that. So I think this year has been a huge revival year, wow. despite that's, some of the craziness and weirdness that's going on. I was going to say, that's <laughs> that's awesome, especially right now, taking into into account the situation right. <laughs> that you're living in as well. Yeah. Um, so I think, I think Avery, I don't, I don't really know you at all, but you definitely uh, strike me from what Will has told me about you as a very creative uh, individual. It even sounds like the type of work you're involved in is yeah. heavily, heavily uh, involved in creativity. And so I'm, I'm really curious to hear, uh, you know, what have you been doing during this season uh, to kill boredom? Uh, you know, how, how, do you, how do you keep your mind fresh? How do you keep yourself uh, active and out of this cycle of monotony that can come sometimes? Yeah, um, a few things, luckily, because <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I'll go stir crazy immediately if I don't if I just sit in my apartment or anything, but it's been mm. a really good time to get back into songwriting. I hadn't done that for a really long time mm. and have just had some events in the last couple of months that made it really inspired. Um, mm. and just starting a new relationship a few months ago and, and things like that. They're just like, okay, I just really want to write stuff. Um, yeah. and, and it's cool. Cause like I, we've learned how to collaborate with people remotely. Um, oh. so I, I play in a band called coastal club and we, in the last two weeks, we've written a song, purely on like Avery you go track the bass tracks David you go do the the drum parts just wherever you are and then send me all the stems and we'll see how Mm. it mixes together Um, so that's been a really cool outlet because that's something I never thought that I would be able to do without wanting to rip my hair out (laughs) 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 it's actually been really fun and then um, me and my girlfriend have done this thing that we started called the quarantine Olympics um, just for fun where we were just like let's come up with just like random games that we can play around our house and uh, like obstacle course and playing pig with like a little squishy ball and a, a bin and things like that just random uh, just fun things and making videos out of them so that's been a blast we did that last weekend and it was just like 
just a lot of fun to the point where I was like, we should film this just to see like what happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. That is so uh, cool. Yeah. But yeah. So it's just been a lot of like random, like every day has been very different, but in a great way. And so I don't know. It's been that's, cool. Well, that's you, really awesome. Yeah. You've, you've intrigued me with your quarantine Olympics. <laughs> I love that. So what is that? But what does that actually consist of? What do you guys do? Uh, I mean, just like random things. Like we did a, so I said we did the obstacle course. We did pig. We did, like we just made our, made each other smoothies with random ingredients in the kitchen, and then had had to oh, take a shot of it, terrifying. and I almost I almost threw up. Oh, what <laughs> like, was it? Like there's a gag in the video that is 150 percent real because I literally oh. I tasted it. She put curry in it. Oh, oh no. and so I almost vomited. Oh no! Um, I'm gonna have to go back and watch that one specifically. It, yeah, it's bad. And then uh, what else have we done? We did. We did a few that I haven't released yet. I was just gonna release them as like bonus content because they were they just weren't as like intense as the other ones. We built a fort that we yeah. had to take down immediately, and just a bunch <laughs> of random things. Yeah. But but yeah, so it's just been. I mean, it's a good way. Like I said, the relationship started like three months ago, and because of the like, this is gonna sound bad. I'm gonna lead this simply. <laughs> the quarantine is not a good thing. Like the mm -hmm. the fact that it exists is not good. Right. It's been a really good season. <laughs> yeah, like, that's good. Like, Praise God. Just, uh, yeah, and that's the thing. It's like uh, we have had every single day together to get to know each other better and just spend mm. life together, which has been really cool. Mm. And it's it forces people to to figure out where they're going to turn in mm. weird times. And so it's mm. it's really cool to see one how people deal with it, like these kind of just random pastimes that they come up with, and also mm -hmm. the way that like churches have figured out how to deal with it even churches that yeah. are like we're not going to stream or anything we're just going to let this be the time that it needs to be and allow the church to be the church in their own homes or people that stream or whatever it is it's just it's interesting yeah. to see how the world kind of responded <laughs> it yeah. is super interesting and I, yeah i definitely think there is kind of a defining moment here where like this is gonna like help you figure out like yeah who do you rely on or where do you turn you know where do you turn in these situations and mm -hmm. I was listening to a sermon this morning um, that, that John Mark Comer did and it, it was all about kind of harnessing this time as like your desert or your wilderness when Jesus went out to the wilderness yeah. and um, you know that that he was faced with evil out in the elder in, out in the wilderness it wasn't easy it was hard but it it ultimately is a time where we are fighting evil and defeating evil and and we can use that this opportunity to like do something really cool and to i think um come closer to god and so it's like it's a horrible time but it's filled with opportunity whether that's to be creative and just do really fun stuff or like you know, come closer to God and, and, and figure out what the world is going to look like after this and how, you know, Christians can, can play a part in that. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so what do you think, like, you know, other, other people, um, who may not be as, is creative and, and maybe, um, like ha have as many like off the wall ideas <laughs> as you have, like what, what do you think is a step that, that they can take to, um, to break that boredom and monotony. Yeah, so it's funny with the with the quarantine Olympics thing. One of the goals with it that did not come to fruition, and that's fine. <laughs> but like, we wanted to, we kept challenging people at the end of it. Like these things, like these games, might not work where you are, but you mm -hmm. you have a family, you have whoever you're with, like. Mm -hmm. come up with stuff like this or you can use the ones that we come up with and I just wanted to see like what people would come up with and didn't see any of that but it's fine <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a good marketing person so it, it, I things go out and then they just die which yeah. is fine but like we had fun yeah. doing it so I'm not mad but um I don't know I think there's a lot of things that I've seen they just depending on the personality type like I have friends that caught up on their entire like their bucket list of movies that they wanted to catch up on because mm -hmm. I mean I'm very caught up in that world and so yeah. there's a ton of movies on my list that I have not watched because you know th that takes time <laughs> and yeah, right. but a lot of people are just like okay I'm gonna have whoever's in my current circle we're just gonna sit down and have a movie marathon or um and I like that because I the way that I like to watch movies is in a way that sparks conversation and you can talk mm. about like mm. why the choices were made or why like there's almost always something hidden in movies that is deeper than just the the surface level stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I love board games. I love game nights, and mm. I, I that, I've been doing that a lot more recently because it's something that I've always craved. But I've it's always been like 
I, I don't know. I don't know how to instigate that in a way that's like, I always <laughs> feel like hard. there's at least one person at the table that's like, are we seriously? Like, you, yeah. you explain the rules for 15 minutes, I still don't understand. It's like, just do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, oh, we've had man. a lot of just random nights where me and my roommate, my girlfriend, or me and her family, or me and my family, like, we are, that's our quarantine circle is those three places. <laughs> um, yeah. But, like, a lot of that stuff, I don't know. There's just a lot of good that can come out of it. Like, even if it's just, like, you had a hobby that you bailed on years ago mm -hmm. because life happened, like, mm -hmm. it's a great time to figure out what those things are that still right. get you jazzed about life, you know? Right, yeah. right, yeah, just, like... I, I like that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, ahead. well, I was just, just, you know, all those things you're listing off, some of them, just like you just said, what are the things... What are the things you sort of let fall away or projects or, or, or dreams or things that, man, I really wish I would have invested more time in that. Suddenly we have all this time to <laughs> invest in those things. I love your, yeah. I mean, the first example of getting back into songwriting, you know, that is mm -hmm. a, uh, I can only imagine an incredibly time energy intensive experience. And so <laughs> to be able to dive back into that you know, maybe it's not songwriting for everybody, but I think most people have things they mm -hmm. do have a desire for that they've maybe let go in the past, but you know, mm -hmm. yeah. go, go after yeah. those things. For sure. I, yeah. I think it's easy to like, I, I mean, like your example of watching movies, like I think that's something that is, is really good. Um, I'm mm -hmm. a big movie person. So like, and I have a movie bucket list and it, it never ends. Um, but <laughs> like, um, I think though too, it's like, I think getting sucked into like the Netflix black hole and mm. like, you know, I think, I think there's an opportunity here um, to, to get sucked into our screens um, mm -hmm. even more than there was before. And I think like part of that is a blessing. I think part of like the, the, content that we have available to us is a blessing but i think also you know we can easily like i think um like kind of try and medicate ourselves with with just getting sucked into netflix and numbing out or you know whatever it is mm -hmm. and i think i like what you said is like it's a really good opportunity to to figure out um what gets you jazzed about life mm -hmm. and I think that like one step we might have to take is like, um, you know, like kind of stepping, allowing ourselves not to get so sucked into like some of those like more numbing habits yeah. to experience boredom so that we can figure out what gets us jazzed about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. You know? For yeah. sure. Yeah. And when, when I said the, the stuff about movies, I think it all comes with the intention because if the intention yeah. like you can easily get into it sucked into Netflix or Hulu or whatever hole and get stuck there I think yeah. what I love about the opportunity to watch movies with people is if it's with people you know what I mean like yeah. taking like one thing that's been really fun with Shelby is like we've watched in the last week we watched Knives Out we watched Us we watched Game Night and nice. Jojo <laughs> Rabbit which nice. are all movies that all I movies. became obsessed with and then it's like like me and my roommate used to go see movies all the time when movies were open. <laughs> right, <laughs> like, right, uh, right. But it's just fun to bring someone into that and then be like, because that's a, a passion of mine. So it's like yeah. we're sharing in that together. And she always felt like people got annoyed with her because she experiences movies. So like, mm. like during game night and us, she was like super tense. And after a sequence <laughs> would end, she'd be like, oh my gosh. And I like just appreciate that. Because it's like, that's why it's that's, there. Like that's the whole yeah. reason. And so like there's just those moments where you can like experience something together and then talk about it rather than just like turn on Netflix and me watch through that 70s show for the seventh time. <laughs> like <laughs> right. like yes. I already know the jokes before they hit already. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's that danger, but I think it's yeah. all the intention. If like, like yes. I could isolate myself and that is sometimes the, the uh, default for me just because of my mm -hmm. personality type. Like I don't think I'm mm -hmm. ne necessarily introverted or extroverted. I'm somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. But with downtime and depression, like it would be super easy to just be like, I'm just sleeping. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I don't care. Like, and I mm -hmm. sometimes would get into the hole where I, I didn't even have the motivation to watch TV. It was like, what's the point wow. of that? You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. so the kind of beauty of this time is learning that that's, that was kind of a uh, symptom of where I allowed myself to be. Um, mm -hmm. And that kind of goes back to how this year has been a year of revivals. It's just like, 
it's the first time I've ever known what it's like to be a part of a church family that actually gives a rip about who I am as a human being, just as opposed mm-hmm. to just like where my faith journey is or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and being around people mm-hmm. that genuinely care and genuinely want to pour into those parts of your life that do get you excited and that do ultimately glorify God through just you doing the thing that you were like using the gifts you were given to do. Um, so I don't know. It's, it's really easy for me to get unmotivated to write a script and then just let it die because I don't feel like I'm the person that should, that has the ability to do it. But Mm -hmm. then there's some things like the quarantine Olympics or like the, like writing songs. It's just like, you know what, who's it hurting if I just try, you know what I mean? Like like the only, the only negative thing that happens well, there is no negative thing. The worst case scenario right. is you had a fun time doing it and yeah. you didn't waste two days of time. Like, yeah, I don't oh, that's, know. It's just, that's all so good. I love that. Yeah, there's very, so much room to, to mess up right now. You right. know, to, you know we're, we don't have to be productive. Right. You have a very small audience. <laughs> yes, I love it. Avery, thank you so much. This has been super helpful. Um, I wish we could could talk to you for like three more hours. This has right. been so good. It has been fun. It's, <laughs> thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate oh, it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, and we'll, we'll have to have you on again sometime. Yeah, for sure. All Thanks, right, guys. Man. Awesome. Thanks yeah, again, we'll see Avery. You. Yep. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. That was awesome. I've, I've got Rebecca ready. I'll admit her. All right. Bring her in. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Now we're on to our next guest. The revolving door keeps turning. We're bringing in my sister, Rebecca. Say Wait. hi to the people at home. Rebecca. Hello. Adam, you have a what? sister? Oh, my gosh. That's an ongoing joke for the listeners at home. Will keeps forgetting I have a sister <laughs> every time. But Yes, she she exists. The difference She's real. is now I've, I have met her at this point, so it, it, I will right. not forget now. Yeah, no, you, you, you your excuses back. are gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so Rebecca, uh, welcome. Welcome to the podcast. Thank um, you. Just so that the people can get to know you a little bit more can you sort of describe what your work school situation is right now in this quarantine yes yeah so i am 20 years old i go to school at taylor where adam graduated from um and right now i'm finishing school finishing up the semester at home as most colleges are Mm -hmm. um which comes with its um downsides i would say i hate (laughs) doing college at home because the Mm -hmm. best part of college is the friends and the hangouts so now it's like you got all the work to do but you don't have any of the rewards of finishing your work (laughs) man so that's been really interesting definitely have had to find a new rhythm Mm, um but the family time's been really good i don't know um this will probably be one of my last times at, I mean, I was just thinking about this at home, you know, in the spring like this, just hanging out with my family without, you know, any Mm. other things going on. So that's been a blessing. And, um, I actually have an internship at a digital marketing agency this summer, which I've already started because it's, a lot of it's digital and she just sends me responsibilities and stuff to do. So I'm doing school and I'm doing that, um, which is keeping me really busy. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Been good. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then I guess the second question would be how long have you been commuting? Yes. Good question. Commuting. I, <laughs> I have, um, I'm sure as, Adam's already talked about, you know, growing up in a Christian family, so was introduced to Jesus at young age, like super, I was, I, I said the prayer when I was super young, um, but it wasn't really until my junior year of high school, I went to a Christian school, um, that I decided that I really wanted to dedicate my life and um, be, you know, reborn spiritually and live my life in a different way and so that's when I chose to go to Taylor I was gonna go to I kind of just wanted to go to a big party school but I was like no if this is the life that I'm gonna live I want to you know put myself in a good place to continue to Mm -hmm. get to know God and 
his plan for my life. So ever since then, I've just been learning more and more and it's been awesome and I don't regret my decision at all. So yeah, that's yeah. My, that's... my my long story short. Yeah, the, yeah, that, very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I love it. I love it, especially the making that difficult decision to, I mean, change your entire, you know, like idea of, of where you want to go to school based on, you know, what is this going to do for my, you know, relationship with God? That's, that's tough. It's a tough decision. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. I think that was, I mean, junior, senior year of high school is hard enough with college decisions, but I think a lot yeah. of the college decision was starting to revolve around what I really believed in and where I wanted to go in life. And so, so cool. once I, yeah. once I realized, okay, you know, if I'm going to live a life that has meaning and has purpose, it's not going to be for me. It's not going to be for mm. my desires and what I want in life. So yeah, you know, if it's going to be love for it. God and his kingdom, maybe Taylor's place for me. Yeah, Swallowed my pride. It. Adam and Adam and my parents were like, listen, you're going to go to Taylor. <laughs> And I was like, no, I'm not gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm go but I love it. So and here, here we are. All here after all are. this time. So, so I know, I know you're, I know you're like busy between your work and, uh, and with your internship and school stuff. But I also know that sometimes being at home can be pretty boring <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> So, uh, could you yes. could you share with us and the listeners some of the ways that you're you're killing that boredom and monotony? Oh yeah, I mean honestly, with technology and everything, I feel like it's so easy to kill boredom. It's choosing the the right way to do it that's mm. going to be beneficial. Yeah. Um, one of the main things and when adam texted me and asked me to do this i was like listen all i do is sit on tiktok i feel like i don't have a lot to offer here but um that's not really true but um that has been if you were like right around my age it is such a popular thing right now and it eats time like that Mm -hmm. is one of the if you were actually looking for a way to kill boredom Download that app. I mean, you will lose four hours of your day without <laughs> knowing where it went. Um, so that's like a really, that's been a fun, you know, way to kill time. And then also, you know, making fun TikToks with friends. I I made a um, compilation of one with my entire, um, at Taylor, we have brother, sister wings. So my bro sis wing made one where we're all like doing one person does a dance and then they the next person copies the dance move and adds their own and there's like 30 of us in it. Whoa. And it was so fun. It was so fun to make. So I that's made that fun. and that was like a fun project to do, but um That's that's got to be so cool. Oh my gosh, yeah, it was so fun. And we we got on the, like the Taylor page or whatever on Instagram, so What? Oh, that's yeah. sweet. That's that's an accomplishment. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. I love it. Um okay, so other than that, I really like to look back at old pictures. It sounds weird, but I just like to, you know, scroll through my camera roll and look back at the the memories from the past semester and hmm. you know, edit pictures. I like to do that a lot. Hmm. Um that's like a really, that's a fun way to look back and reflect on the year. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, I have a list, so I'm looking down at it. I put reading question mark, but not really. I put <laughs> it's like, I like to say that that's something that I do, but I do it maybe once a week and I'm like, eh, I'm kind of over this. <laughs> Terrible, but not a huge deal. You've never been much of a, a deep reader. No, no, I don't love it. My attention's <sighs> short. Um, another thing on my list is I like to try something, I like to try new things that like, if I, you know, during the year think, oh my gosh, if I had time, I would so do this, you know, and Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody has that thing. Um, Mm -hmm. mine was painting. So I got a watercolor kit off of Amazon and tried painting. Um, I did it on definitely the wrong material. So 
It didn't turn out at all as I planned. I actually, <laughs> I painted some things for my friends that I was going to send to them, and it looks terrible, like absolutely <laughs> terrible. So I think I'm still going to send it because I spent so much time on it, but. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Send it. I think it'll make their day. It doesn't it'll, look. Absolutely. Good, but yeah. it'd be like, hey, my friend is thinking of me enough to. Yeah. Heck yeah. It just gives it character. That's all. Yeah. Absolutely. Character. That's right. That's what we talk about. <laughs> um, that's that's something we talked a little bit about with um, Avery, our, our last right. guest, was that like this is a time like to be creative or like to think about like what is that thing that you've always wanted to do like as a hobby or something like that. You know, like if I had time, I would blank. You know, we've all, we've all said that in some way or another. Like you're totally right. on the money. Like like let this is a time to fill in that blank. Right. You know. And, and and then to your point, you know, you made a painting and it and it may not have went the way that you wanted it to. But like, who cares? Like, yeah. like, we're not trying to, like, be super productive right now. Yeah. You know, this yeah, is an opportunity to mess up. Yeah. yeah. And it feels I think it feels good too to to do something other than, you know, sit around, watch TV. It's like, oh, I'm actually trying that thing. And yeah. it feels yeah. good. Like at the end of yeah. the day, you kind of feel like you did something. Which yeah. Is yeah. Well, that 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 was your first point, which I I thought was a really poignant way of putting it. Is that it's easy to kill boredom, right? It's really easy to find something to do, but it's are you putting your time towards like the the better ways, you know? And so, like I think that's a great example of a better way to yeah. to spend yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So we've got like a couple minutes left. Is there anything else from your list you want to make sure that uh, you know you share, or is the, do you have any other ideas for um, you know what our listeners can be doing to uh, kind of break the boredom and monotony? Yeah, can I share two more? Absolutely. Okay. One of the things I spent three hours on this last night is I love to make playlists. Oh. So, on, I use Apple Music. I know that's, you know, whatever, everyone uses Spotify. <laughs> um, big Apple Music fan. Um, but I love to just sit down, find new music, and make playlists for those moments where you're, you're doing something and you're thinking, man, I wish I had the perfect playlist for this right now. Yeah. And so Ooh. now is the time to make those playlists so that later, you know, when you're in the car with your friends and you want that fun, energy-filled playlist, like, you've got it. So that's that something that I did last night. Um, so true. That is we both love idea. to do that. We both love to do that. I've been doing that a little bit, too. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's so good. And it's fun to, like, make make the cover the cover picture for it the right uh -huh. cover picture so that all your playlists just look nice together. Oh, I love it. I love <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Um, and then the something that I found just a couple of days ago. Have you guys ever heard of Zane Blow? He's uh, a yeah. he's the BBC so. guy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I just started listening to on Apple Music. His he does FaceTimes with. Um, popular music stars a lot of them are british i think because mm -hmm. he did one with harry styles and um matt healy yep. in 1975 and just talks to them about what they're going through and like quarantine and stuff and then in the middle of it they've created this playlist of music that inspires them and it just like plays all those songs so it's a really cool way to find oh that's cool new music um yeah. So that's my music one. Last one. I know I'm talking a lot. You're good. Lay it on us. Last one is, okay, if you need a good workout um, app, the Nike Training Club app, have you guys ever heard of it? I've heard of yes, it. Yes, I, I think haven't used I, it. I have it. it is, yeah, I use it. It's so awesome. And they just, so normally they have all these videos, but they have um, premium for premium members and right now everything's free so premium's free too and oh. it sounds like they're sponsoring or something but they <laughs> i mean i swear by it it's so awesome you can just browse you know if you want like an endurance workout if you want like a strength workout Ooh. You know, for 
for abs or for legs, you know, time, you can filter it by time, the amount of equipment that you have, um, which I don't have any, so I use all the high equipment ones. So that's, yeah. that's been huge to get. That is yeah. so cool. Good call out there. Yeah, I didn't know that that was so like extensive. Oh my gosh, especially now that they've let their premium ones be used by everyone. I think yeah. it's like a campaign for everyone being out. I love it. Wow. I love it. Gonna have to check that out uh, further. So Rebecca, thank you so much. This is, You have given yeah. some really awesome ideas. Oh, you God. have. Yeah, hope I didn't talk too much. You I didn't, no. You were, you, were, you were great, you were perfect. Thank you so much. Of yeah, thank, yeah, you're welcome. Thanks so, thanks so much for hopping on. Thanks for Love. having me. Yeah, Love Any you, time. sis. And enjoy right. the rest of your day. Thanks, you too, bye. B bye. All right, let's bring him in. He hasn't joined yet. He said he was. He hasn't. He said he got the invite, right? Yeah. Oh, there he is, there he is, okay. All right, guys, we're here uh, with my buddy Jonah. Uh, we are super excited to talk to Jonah. Uh, what a fun guy. Jonah, <laughs> say what's up. What's poppin', how's it going? Uh, he is also known as Gatsba7. Is my, am I saying that right? Gatsba7? Gatsby. Oh, Gatsby, right. Yeah, so it is the, Gatsby. Yeah, the seven is silent, of mm -hmm. course. Um, <laughs> Uh, he actually made our intro song. So, oh, nice! Uh, I know you guys were using that. Dope. <laughs> yeah, you big shout out! Wow, wow! You didn't. You haven't listened to my podcast. I listened oh, to the. Okay, I listened caught. to the first you know one. Okay, hold caught. up, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> I listened to the first one, but I did. I made the beat so long ago that I I don't I didn't recognize it as my own. Oh, are you, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Nice save. Nice recovery. Thank you. Thank um, you. Side note, if you're hearing sounds from uh, some banging, uh, Jonah's family is fixing the floor upstairs. <laughs> so, um, all right. So, Jonah, real quick, uh, share with us your current work situation. What, what's that like? So, currently, I'm still, like, my work situation hasn't changed a whole lot because I'm still an essential employee. I work at a body shop in the office, and we do work for a couple really big companies. So, I'm still at the office every day. Um, but mm. our actual like in like inside the office has changed a lot. We're not letting anybody in the office anymore. No one can get coffee, water, like that's crazy. So I have to bring my own French press and water every day. But <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's fun. So uh, So like my daily my daily nine to five hasn't changed too much. Yeah. Yeah. Well that's that's kinda nice that you're still in your routine for the most part with yeah. some twists. Mm-hmm. So uh, the other question is, how long have you been commuting? And other, since you haven't listened to the podcast, I'm probably going to have to explain this to you. Um, commuting, in other words, how long have you been following Jesus journey, on this journey with Jesus? Um, well, my dad's my my dad's been a worship pastor for my whole life, pretty much. So this is like I've grown up with this. Um, I was always a PK, always around the church, always you know behind the scenes, working in different elements of it. Um, I'd say when I graduated high school and moved to Honduras was when it really became my own. And like, mm -hmm. that was when I really found like, okay, this is truly what I think and not what anybody else thinks. It's like, this mm -hmm. is where I developed my own understanding and own like, um, set of, this is how I feel like God speaks to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your own, you're building your own faith. You're right. You have your own conversations with God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. So uh, what are you doing to kill boredom and monotony during this time? Oh, sure, sure. I tell you what, I'm a serious extrovert. So like <laughs> when I took the, the Myers-Briggs, I was 90, 96% extrovert and 4% introvert. So this would be- I remember this. Annihilating me right now, except that I've been making, I've been making YouTube videos. I've been on YouTube and recording and stuff. So a lot of stuff has been able to go digital. And so I'm still having like live streams and that's been really nice because when I'm super, like feeling like super down or super lonely, uh, I can just go live and there's 40 people there like mm. in the chat. So it's like, that mm. really helps a lot. Um, being able to kind of like interact there, but not yeah. being able to go out has kind of forced me just to 
focus and put my nose down and just work and grind. So mm-hmm. that's cool. So yeah. so then uh, just for for myself and then all mm-hmm. the listeners as well, when you say go live on YouTube and and host these things, what what exactly are you hosting? Is it music? Is it uh, you know what what exactly are you doing online? Yeah, so I do I do live streams where basically I review people's music. Uh, oh, cool! So I'll go live, and I'll, some subscribers will email me tracks or something like that, and I'll just kind of listen to them, pick them apart, give them suggestions and tips on like, okay, this needs to improve, like this could change. I would, you know, this is good. Like th- I, I like this part a lot. Um, focus on like nail down this thing so just basically like little critiques but also like a positive like hey i'm gonna also encourage you because this part was sick Mm -hmm. um so yeah that's that's been really nice very cool yeah that we just kind of a common theme in the conversation is how like man technology has (laughs) helped us in so many ways in staying connected and it is like truly awesome of course that has a dark side but you know overall like it is it has been good to kind of see the like how awesome technology is and how that's helping us so um so you know we we talked on the phone last night and 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 you know you've kind of been using this time as an opportunity um well i mean like quarantine has catapulted you into this season of focus and Mm. and building and creativity and, um, you know, you've been working on, um, you know, your YouTube channel and stuff like that and been doing things on your YouTube channel, like these live things that, um, mm. you know, you may maybe ha- weren't able to do as many of those before. Um, how can how can other people, um, maybe people who are as creative as creative as you, maybe people that aren't um, who mm. have may or may not have some of those abilities. How can other people harness this season uh, and, and focus on something yeah i feel like so this is what like one thing that i always say is like we were created in the image of the most creative and passionate being ever like Mm -hmm. so i believe that we all have like a some creativity in our Mm -hmm. being you know and and passion in our being and a lot of people want to say like oh i'm not creative because i can't draw or i'm not creative because i can't write music and like that's that's not true. It's like you, you, everybody has their own little thing of creativity, whether that be, I bake, I like to bake, or I like to collect things, or, you know, I like to decorate houses. Like everybody has their own little like creative niche and like what they're really passionate about. And I think like we have no other option, but to be alone right now or to be by ourselves Mm -hmm. or isolated. So this season is the perfect time to come out of better you know, to come out of with, you know, a new skill or to come out of with, you know, a deeper understanding of something you've always wanted to understand, but just have never had the time. Like all we have is time right now. So Mm -hmm. it's, it's the perfect time to dig into like that passion that you haven't been able to explore previously. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. So Mm -hmm. you could, I mean, you could have easily gotten sucked into like Netflix or like a video game or something like that. And like, I, I, I've known you for a long time and that happened that can happen pretty easily yeah right so and, and and I mean it happens for me too but like how how have you found balance between um, maybe some of um, those other things that are good like Netflix but can also like kind of take you away from creativity mm-hmm. like how have you found a balance to be able to have focus you know with all of those other options out there yeah I, I love fortnite. I really like Fortnite. Fortnite's <laughs> a lot of fun to play. But when I started to catch steam on, because I started the, the channel before the quarantine hit. And so I kind of had the ball rolling a little bit when quarantine hit, kind of yeah. was getting in the, the habit of like, okay, I'm posting every day. Like I'm going to post multiple videos every day and I have to hold myself to that. And then when like the traction really started, um, I'd be getting, you know, 15, 20 DMs a day. Like, hey, why where's video at where's the video at and it's like yeah it's crazy like people like relying on that as almost like an escape from reality is just Mm -hmm. listening to me critique music which i never thought would be a thing but so it's almost like a it's not an obligation it's just it's what i want to do you know it's like Mm -hmm. i want to go home and i want to make a video or i want to go home and record a verse for somebody and send it out because it's just like this 
I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just the passion that I've, you know, been able to delve into and been blessed with. Mm. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that's really good. I I like I like your comment on pushing back on the comment of I'm not creative, right? Mm. I, I think that's I think that's a really good um, thing to draw attention to because creativity has been part of the conversation. Uh, throughout this episode so far. Mm. And so for people who their their passion and their creativity may not align in exactly the same sort of things you're interested in uh, or that we're interested in, um, I guess the question is where do they start? Where what, what ways do you think people can either self-examine or, or start moving in some way where they can figure out where uh, you know where their creativity lies um, mm-hmm. and sort of like how to go after that. I like that. I like that. Um, I think examine in yourself what you love to watch or what you love to like absorb. Mm. If you love to look at pictures of art, there's probably a little bit of artist inside of you. Yeah. Um, what you really respect and what you really like admire are a lot of times desires that you have inside of you. And you may say like, oh, well, I'm terrible at it. Yeah, I look back at the songs that I wrote when I was 14 and I was garbage. Right. But I started somewhere, yeah. you know, it started somewhere. And so hmm. I think, yeah, look at yourself and look at what you like to spend your time with. And even if it's absorbing others' content, there's probably a little piece of that inside of you. Hmm. That's good. Mm. I like that. I like that. That's super cool. Um, so yeah, that's, I, whoa, my, one of my ear buddies is dying. I just got the little notification. <laughs> anyway, sorry, sorry. This is, that just super distracted me. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that is so cool. I'm so like, I'm so excited to see like how, how you continue to thrive in this season. Like, and just seeing, you know, like the, the creations you've been coming up with and like seeing the stuff on Instagram and like the, the pop and challenge that you were a part of. And like, um, you know, it's just been really wild. cool to see all that. So it's wild, I'm pumped, man. <laughs> I'm yeah, pumped to see what happens next. Yeah, for sure. Dude, thank you so much for, for hanging out with us today. Dude, absolutely. Anytime, anytime you yeah. want. Yeah. Well, I, We'll have to have you on again for sure. for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Nice to meet you, Jenna. Yeah, good to meet you as well. All right, dude, I'll see you. All right, see you guys later. See ya, bye. Wow, those were some, those were some good conversations. Yeah, they were. I, I, was, I was into that. Uh, we picked some good guests. Uh, we have good friends and family. And we do, <laughs> we do. Um, so three concrete steps, let's boil it down. If we could pull three concrete steps out of uh, this episode that, that our listeners can walk away with. Um, do you have anything for that? Yeah, um, I, think, I think one of the things that really stuck out to me uh, was something that, uh, the thing that Jonah mentioned about creativity, um, pushing back against the idea that uh, some people say, uh, oh, I'm not creative. And, and maybe someone listening to this episode had that exact same thought when Avery, Rebecca, and Jonah were all sharing the different creative things they're doing. Um, mm-hmm. but, I, but along with Jonah, I would challenge that. And we're, we're made in the image of the most creative being, as he said. Uh, you know, that's one of the most common names that God is called as the creator. And so... Yeah. You know, find the things that you find joy in, the creative things you find joy in, and take your own hand at it. Uh, that's something mm-hmm. Avery mentioned. It's like, who's watching right now? Yeah. What's the worst yeah. case scenario? That it's fun, right? <laughs> you know, I, you know. <laughs> right. So, so I We're, think a, a a tangible thing would be to pursue that creativity. I love it. I I think for me, one thing that Rebecca said that stuck out to me, like it just it for whatever reason, it just hit me when she said it, it is just really significant and powerful is like the way that she was revisiting old memories and pictures and stuff like that. Mm. And I just think that yeah. is like, I mean, how often do we really 
um, spend time revisiting old memories or going through old pictures and like you know we do it every once in a while you know maybe when we're all together with family or whatever but like and, and like I do it when I've like scrolled through all of Instagram and there's nothing left for me to look at <laughs> and I just start scrolling through my photos which is a really dark place to be but right. um, I mean it, it's it's not really an intentional habit that we have. And I think there is so much significance in that, especially in a spiritual sense, because thinking about how God has worked in the past is, is just incredibly powerful in your relationship with him in the present. So mm. like the, the, the Psalms um, all, all the time are all about meditating on the wondrous works of God. But to, to meditate on the wondrous works, you got to remember them. You got to know what they are. And, and so um, I, I think remembering the cool things that God has done in the past, even if it's just like God has blessed you with a wonderful family and you're remembering some awesome family trip to the lake or something like that, you know, and finding the pictures from that, like you can remember, man, like God is good. He's been good and he will be good. And, and so I just think that's really cool. Um, yeah. um, and, and for, yeah, for multiple reasons. So I think revisit old memories and, uh, maybe even write down yes. the memories that you're making right now. Like, yeah. um, remember how God is working now. Remember the good things that are happening now. Um, mm -hmm. and, and remember the things that have happened. Um, I absolutely. Think, I think that's good. I, I totally agree. That's going to be, if you imagine this, how unique this scenario is, to be able to Absolutely. share those joys, the works of God now with your friends, family, even maybe children years down the road, that's gonna mm -hmm. be it's gonna be a pretty incredible mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if you have any thoughts for the third one. I have an idea. Yeah, go for it. Um, what I really liked, and it's funny because each person said this in a different way. Um, I really yeah. like the way that Avery said it figured figure out what gets you jazzed about life yes like sometimes i think we have hidden passions or hidden things that we just love to do but we never have the space to think about it and discover it we finally have the space to think about it and discover yeah. what gets you jazzed about life yeah and i think a really good tool that rebecca gave us for figuring out what that is is what did we say before fill in this blank if i had time i would blank We've all said that. Yeah. Now we have time. What's what's in that blank for you? Um, yep. Genius. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I think that's a great third point. And and hmm. I will just add, we talked about this. You, I think this was a great call out at the very beginning of this episode. But I will say again, right? This this conversation is going to be more applicable to some people than it will be to others. You know, mm -hmm. I I think we both recognize that there are people right now. Who don't have the margin that that we're talking about because they are the frontline necessary workers. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm thinking of everything from um, you know food workers, grocery store employees to nurses yeah. and doctors and hospitals. You know, I think we both want to openly, verbally recognize that this boredom, uh, you know, in some ways is a result of privilege you know yeah. like we you yeah. know we we're in many ways blessed to have Absolutely. boredom right now um mm -hmm. but but want to recognize that it is a challenge for those who do have it um without sure. dismissing the fact that uh, we recognize that we're, yeah yeah that we're privileged <laughs> yeah exactly. yeah absolutely i think that's well yeah. said all right, guys. Well, hey, uh, thank you so much for listening, for tuning into this episode. Um, hey, go follow us on social media. Check us out on Instagram at the daily underscore commuters. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook at the daily commuters. Um, both of those places will also um, lead you to our YouTube channel. Um, if you're just listening to this, we do record this um, on video. So if you would like to see our faces, which are shaven, by the way, we are, are both bearded men, um, uh, but no. not currently. No longer. And it's super weird. It is yeah. super weird. This is what boredom does to you when you're running. This is why we had to have this episode. We were literally running out of ideas of things to do. And so we just shaved our faces. Yeah. Um, so, 
Um, yeah, so check out, check out those YouTube videos. Um, hey, it, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. If this is something, if, if you've been um, maybe challenged or encouraged, empowered by, by one of these episodes, please go leave us a review. Um, uh, that's gonna help us to, to reach more people and uh, to help more people find this podcast so they can be encouraged. Um, and empowered on their daily yep. journeys towards Jesus. And I will say, if you have a question, if you have something you want us to talk about, um, and if there is something specific we can be praying for you for, reach out to us uh, on, on social media, or you can email us at askdailycommute at gmail.com. All right, Adam, you got anything to add? Uh, just, I guess, my fatherly advice. Um, um, always. Yeah, uh, I would say, uh, Make sure you always pack an extra pair of underwear. Oh, that's such that's so good advice. Such good <laughs> advice, man. Always pack that's, an extra pair of underwear. You never know what's gonna happen. All right, guys. Right. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy. We love you. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye.